Hi, have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate Community Thread. So there is a SharePoint list here and one of the column is called Choice Field and that allows multiple values. Okay, so here what it's doing here is it's converting uh, that list into a HTML template mappings here. You can see here TRTD values here and then finally getting an email then. But in the email, you can, as you can see here, the multi-choice field values are coming up like that. Okay, so let's build the flow and see what's going on here. Okay, so I got a similar um, SharePoint list called sports and there is a categories column here and I have got multiple, um, you know, it's a multi-choice field. As you can see here, there are multiple selections here. Okay, so let's go back to Power Automate. So the first thing I'm doing here is grabbing all the records from that entity. Then I'm using the select statement and that's an array actually. So I'm going to use the value as the mapping. Then the map under the map i'm going to put the coach and the categories okay there are two columns i'm interested in that so under the coach and then under the expression i'm going to use item question mark and then the field name that is coach yeah and the, the second value of i'm interested in is the categories there we go categories then again the expression item question mark square bracket single quotes categories okay that's done the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to save this flow and run it or what i could do here is i could uh, use the similar like what the user did here so let's go back here right okay so uh, it's converting into tr and td and then I believe that is that is in a loop and then finally mapping into uh, convert into a into an email template i believe yeah uh -huh. we can't see the full flow here so that's what I, I believe it's happening so for this what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use a create html table here so create a html I think html i think yeah create HTML table and then here I'm going to use the select output here okay here it is and uh, let's save this flow and so SharePoint uh, list okay let's call sports report okay my flow is saved I'm going to run my flow now Okay, so here we go. So somehow we replicated the, the error from the forum actually. So that's exactly what we are getting here. You can see here it's an array and uh, it got a couple of elements inside that. Yeah. So ideally what we want here is we would like to get only the value, only the football, cricket, you know, only those values we are interested in that. Yeah. Of uh, course. So how to do this? So let's uh, go back and edit the flow so of course uh, you know uh, because it's an array of collection uh, the categories we can't directly map it here so uh, we won't be able to use this straight away now that so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete the create HTML table also the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare a variable here and uh, called initialize variable and just call call uh, call it as uh, sports all right okay so that's a sports array values the next step is I'm going to use a compose action step okay and uh, map the categories there that's a multi-choice okay here we go that's in a loop now so um if i run this now
okay flow ran successfully and uh, you can see here that's an array now yeah so i'm going to copy this so control a control c so i just basically i highlighted and copied that come back here and um, adding a pass json step you can do this in different ways i'm going to show another step also what's the pass pass json used for so here um, it can i can pass the compose output value or the category so i'm going to use the categories here categories and then click on the generate sample place your cursor inside and press control um, v actually that means i'm pasting the values which i copied click done so that's there now um, now i can delete this categories okay okay now that's what i got the next thing i'm going to use here is so i got more than one value so ideally what we want here is i want a cricket uh, comma basketball like that yeah right so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to use um, let's go back here and declare another variable as well yeah so i'm going to use another variable here initialize variable okay and um, inside this i'm going to say categories and that's a string okay and then here i'm going to use append to string use the categories then here remember the value we got okay so that's the value we want that is coming from the past json step that's inside the loop now so i'm going to put a, a semicolon um, comma there right so that's that and the next thing i'm going to do here is now once this loop is executed that means i got all the categories okay so i'm going to minimize that now inside this apply to which i'm going to add another compose action step okay so this is a technique i'm going to do i'm going to add two curly brackets then inside that i'm going to say coach then map the you know the, the value coming from the apply to each one that is this get items there we go that's there comma then categories okay so for the categories i'm interested in the up into string value okay so remember that's the one we need to map so categories that's a value variable so this should contain you know all the values there actually so that's there now so that's one compose then. Then what we want is, remember we still in the apply to each. I'm going to minimize this. So remember still we are in the apply to each. So that, that's the reason I declared another uh, one, uh, sorry, another, uh, there is a variable called uh, sports array actually. So here I'm going to say append to array. Select sports array and I'm going to map this compose action step here. Okay, that's the output. Here it is. So that's where our flow is going to look like now. So once the whole, uh, you know, the apply to each is executed, then we'll be having a new structure of sports array, which contain the clean data of the categories, which is coming from the previous apply to each, you know, from here. That's the technique. Okay, now I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so that's that. Okay, there is one more thing here. Once this is done, once the once the apply to each, let me think. Uh, okay, and up the categories that's done. Once the mapping is done, we need to reinitialize this up into string. Otherwise, we we will be in trouble actually for that. So uh, let's go back and say set variable. Otherwise, it will contain all the values. Okay, so set variable, and um, that's called the categories make the expression as null actually that's it no okay here it is so that we are resetting the values of the categories then here otherwise you know we, uh, for the next set next rows of values we want we don't want to append the previous values okay right that's done finally what we could do now is i'm going to minimize the whole apply to each now i'm going to use select now select 
So I got a new array now, which is sports array. It's the same technique again. I'm going to use my mapping name as coach here. And under the expression, I'm going to say item question mark coach. There it is. Then the other one, uh, the other one is the categories. That's my sports categories and under the expression again item question mark two square bracket categories click ok that that's done then finally what we could do here is i could say create html table or you can have custom you know the html table you can create with the tr, TR and td tags and then from uh, using the previous output of the select that is this that's it i'm not going to use custom column names here i'm going to make it automatic because i want this coach and the categories i want there yeah okay let me test this click on the test manually manually and save and test right okay so let's see then so under the select see that we got football cricket we got all the values in a clean format now. There is no more raw data, uh, you know, that big long string we seen earlier, the big JSON format. We, we are not seeing that anymore. So under the create HTML, uh, we got nicely coach and the categories now. See that. There's a comma here, football comma there. If you really want, what you need to do here is uh, you could um, put some if statement there actually to block that. There are different ways you can do that. Um, there are some advanced way you can just uh, use the select to extract the values and convert that into uh, you know a string um, but this is these are the basic steps uh, so it will help if somebody is new in flow these are the basic steps you can go through it first then slowly you learn the advanced techniques and then you can do through you know a couple of steps you can eliminate here also uh, there are probably one or two steps you can eliminate yeah uh, so here before the append to uh, you know string value you can use an if statement here if append to string is null uh, then um, you know uh, if it null then just map the value under the no statement uh, put a comma then like this so that uh, you know if it's a single value it will it will be having um, no commas at the end actually i'm not going to show that in the video i'm just saying that all you need is inside the supply to each two you need to add an if condition here add an if condition yeah so that's what you want this if condition you want to check this value this up into string variable category is null uh, you know or empty something like that you can check okay uh, so hope uh, this video is useful thank you for watching